Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Club Rugby TV, uh, where we keep talking about what's happening in the world of club rugby. Right. Well, of course, as we know, load shedding has really been uh, affecting everybody. Of course, that uh, the world of rugby is not uh, excluded from that, and nor is Cape Rugby TV. But before we talk about that, big thanks, of course, to our partners on board with us here at Cape Rugby TV. Score energy drinks. You can win yourself a case of score during the course of the show. Thorburn Security Solutions on board with Cape Rugby TV. Thorburn, of course, there you see it behind me right now. They give you your end-to-end -end sporting event solution from uh, logistics, like security and fire and sanitization, and of course, sponsorship to help you find sponsors for your events or your sports structures. And of course, folks, MCHEM 24-hour pharmacy. We'll talk about them a little bit later during the course of the show, but they just keep on ticking. Right, so folks, of course, as you know, last week uh, we missed out on a couple of, um, of the match highlights, but we did have the games. Unfortunately, load shedding also got a hold of us last week. And uh, so to make sure that you don't miss some of those um, highlights that were sent into, uh, into us, we're going to show you that uh, uh, tonight. Of course, uh, the match that we did get in this week was, of course, False Bay up against Unimil. They played this past weekend. Um, and then the matches that we got in last week was All Saints against Primrose and Goodwood and Helderberg. Also, Paul played against False Bay and uh, Kales River were up against Hamilton. So we'll show you some of the highlights from uh, those matches uh, during the course of the show. And don't forget, of course, you can win yourself a case of Score Energy Drinks. And um, we'll talk to you about MCAM a little bit later during the course of the show. So don't forget, stick around because the Score Energy Drinks competition, the Spot the Ball competition, comes up a little bit later. Right. So tonight is all about the highlights. Let's take a look now at the uh, first half highlights then of this past uh, Super League A match between False Bay and Unimol. The following feature is brought to you by Score Energy Drinks, MCAM 24 Hour Pharmacy, and Thorburn Security Solutions.
This feature was brought to you by MCAM 24 Hour Pharmacy, Score Energy Drinks, and Thorburn Security Solutions. Right, welcome back. So, False Bay at Unimil, of course, a half time score there. False Bay go 12 3 into the lead over Unimil. Um, so, uh, at the moment, that's what things are looking like there in the half time score. Folks, uh, when we come back from the break, we'll take a look at the second half and some interesting results as well for you in uh, Super League A. We'll also take a look at the logs, the results, and this coming weekend's fixtures. Don't go away. We'll be back in a sec. All right, welcome back, everybody. You're watching Cape Rugby TV. It's great to have you along. Of course, uh, as you know, tonight's uh, show is all about the highlights of uh, matches that have been sent in to us. And, of course, we keep asking the clubs out there, uh, to send in your matches to us and uh, we'll be happy to feature them. Of course, a great way to give extra exposure to your sponsors. Um, and don't forget, of course, clubs that are out there, if you don't see your jersey on the back in the background um, with your sponsor's logo on it, you know, feel free to, to, get, to send that in to us. Uh, we love featuring the clubs um, on the show. It's a fantastic way for clubs to go to local business. You see it behind me right now. A uh, great way for clubs to go to local business and try and get some sponsorship. So, um, yeah, also some creative thinking about uh, around how you can go about doing that. So, yeah. Folks, um, before the break, we were taking a look at the match between False Bay and Unimil. And, of course, um, as we went into the break, it was, of course, uh, False Bay leading Unimil 12 points to 3 at half time. They were playing at False Bay. And, of course, uh, the second half, well, it turned out to be slightly different. Let's take a look. The following feature is brought to you by Score Energy Drinks, MCHEM 24-Hour Pharmacy and Thorburn Security Solutions.
This feature was brought to you by MCAM 24 Hour Pharmacy, Score Energy Drinks, and Thorburn Security Solutions. So Unimol grabbing it then, 24 points to 21 in the finals uh, there um, at False Bay, in the finals, uh, or the dying moments, shall we say. And uh, apparently a historical win. Uh, first time for Unimol uh, beating False Bay ever. So, yeah, close game in Super League A, False Bay and Unimol. We're still going to take a look at another False Bay match a little bit later during the course of the show. Uh, where we take a look at the highlights between Paul and False Bay from last week. So don't go away. We, uh, we are featuring the games that you missed out on last week. But let's take a look at the other results then in Super League 8. Well, Durbel scored a big win over SK Warmers. And then, uh, of course, as you saw, uh, False Bay going down to Unimol, 24 points to 21. Folks, uh, let's quickly take a look at the log as we see it at the moment in Super League 8. Well, Unimol uh, still uh, first place on top of the log. They have got 49 points there. Um, and they've got two games in hand, or at least they're already doable in second place. They've got two games in hand behind Unimol, followed by a UCT, False Bay, and Martis. Martis and Tigerberg, in fact, as well as Villagers, have still got three games in hand. Uh, Hamilton's Tigerberg bringing up six and seven on the log, followed by UWC. And then Brackenfell, Kales River, as we said, Villagers, Hamlets, NTK, Paul, and SK Warmers. And of course, those last couple of uh, teams are going to now be challenging to make sure that they stay out of the bottom three. So very important there, folks, that, the, that you know, we can see in Super League, in, the, in the, the Super Leagues, in fact, that everybody's scrambling to avoid the bottom three. But the interesting thing also is that closer to the top of the log, um, teams are scrambling to make it into the top six so that at the end of the league phase, uh, we go into the semifinals, quarterfinals, and finals to see who the league winners are. Right, let's take a look at the fixtures then coming up in Super League A this weekend. Uh, of course, a lot of big games. Uh, we only had two games this last weekend. Um, but coming up then this weekend, it's Hamilton's up against Paul. Brackenfell and NTK, Hamlets, Villagers, Tigerberg, and False Bay. So, um, yeah, look out there, folks, for some big Super League A games this weekend. Folks, we're going to take a break. When we come back from the break, we'll take a look at some of the highlights that uh, came in last week, and we're specifically going to take a look at All Saints up against Primrose. Um, we'll also take a look at uh, some of the highlights from Goodwood and Helderberg. Paul and False Bay, of course, played... Uh, the previous weekend, and then Kales River and Hamilton's. Right, we'll be back in a sec. Don't go away. All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, if you've just joined us, you're watching Cape Rugby TV here on Cape Town TV, DSTV Channel 263. Uh, of course, we're taking a look at some of the highlights of some of the matches that you might have missed last week, um, uh, which were, of course, kindly sent to us by the clubs. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately... Uh, load shedding got to us last week, but we don't want you to miss out on the games. So two games coming up still. All Saints were up against Primrose. All Saints were, of course, hosting Primrose, folks. This is in Super League B. And then shortly after this, we're going to show you the highlights between, or some of the highlights at least, between Goodwood and Helderberg. Helderberg traveled to Goodwood. So two games in Super League B here. And then we'll take a look at some of the results, logs, and fixtures in Super League B. And don't forget, we'll tell you what's happening at MCAM 24 Hour Pharmacy. Anyway, here's the highlights. Uh, All Saints against Primrose, kindly sent to us by Fernando Favias, who's doing such fantastic uh, camera work in the Helderberg region. The following feature is brought to you by Score Energy Drinks, MCHEM 24-Hour Pharmacy and Thorburn Security Solutions.
This feature was brought to you by MCAM 24 Hour Pharmacy, Score Energy Drinks, and Thorburn Security Solutions. Right, so the uh, end result then going in favor of All Saints, uh, beating Primrose there 35 points to 10. Uh, still quite a bit of traveling to do in Super League B for uh, an, a number of teams. So we've got, yeah, a couple of games left before we see who ends up where. But certainly uh, Primrose is going to be um, trying to make sure that they get stay out of the bottom three. But we'll talk about the logs in a second. Folks, other match that happened over the weekend, we managed to get some of the highlights, was Goodwood up against Haldeberg. Let's show you that. The following features brought to you by Score Energy Drinks, MCHEM 24-Hour Pharmacy and Thorburn Security Solutions. This feature was brought to you by MCHEM 24-Hour Pharmacy, Score Energy Drinks, and Thorburn Security Solutions. So not a good day on the park then for Goodwood, um, as Helderberg walk away with um, the uh, walking away with the win, and that truly was a top and bottom of the log clash. Uh, so I'm sure Goodwood's still got a bit of work to do 
see if they can keep themselves out of the bottom three. Other results coming in then this past weekend. Busy Bees uh, went down at home to St. George's. Young Peoples with a 21-28 uh, loss to Belha. Big win for Belville over Vineyards, 59-22. Scottsdean went down to Lunga, 2015. Uh, Hands and Hearts with a win over Primrose. Helderberg with a win over Franschhoek and Collegians with a win over Goodwood. Goodwood's uh, got a bit of work to do to get themselves uh, back on track. Well, let's take a look at the logs and you can see for yourself firsthand where things stand at the moment. So it really was a top and bottom of the log clash last week. Um, Helderberg is currently sitting on top of the pile. They're in first place in the log, followed by Hands and Hearts. And Helderberg is climbing away at the moment, um, considering that uh, Hands and Hearts has already played 10 games and Helderberg only 9. Then it's, of course, Belhar doing super well in Super League B, followed by All Saints and St. George's, Belleville, Young Peoples, Collegians, Langa, Franschhoek, Vineyards, and, of course, Busy Bees, Scottsdean, Primrose, and Goodwood. So a bit of work to do there for the teams at the bottom of the log. Folks, another big weekend then coming up in Super League B, and we've said quite often that this Super League B could be one of the toughest leagues. Hands and Hearts take on uh, Goodwood. So Goodwood travel to Hands and Hearts this coming weekend. All Saints, uh, moving away from the Strand area, they go to Scottsdean. Primrose travel across to Belha, and then, of course, Young People's to St. George's. And Helderberg are up against Busy Bees. We know Busy Bees is going to have their work cut out for them. Things did not go their way this past weekend against St. George's. Right, folks. Well, of course, as you know, MCHEM 24-hour pharmacy is on board with Cape Rugby TV. They're also the official uh, pharmacy to uh, Western Province Rugby, the DHL Stormers, and the Western Province Rugby side. Uh, not too far down the road, in fact, from the High Performance Center where Western Province and the, uh, the High Performance Center in Belva where Western Province seniors and juniors uh, train, of course. Um, interestingly enough, folks, as you know, MCHEM 24-Hour Pharmacy has been a pharmacy that has always said that they are there for you. And 24-7, seven days a week, it's open. You can see from MCHEM behind me there right now. Now, I know that many of you are thinking uh, with the load shedding that is going on, that shops are closed down during certain hours. It's quite difficult to find your shopping times. Well, MCHEM 24-Hour Pharmacy, as always, have got the solution. They remain open 24-7, seven days a week. So you can still go to MCHEM to get your uh, prescription filled, to go and see somebody in the orthopedic and surgical zone or to go to the sports supplement section. So MCAM 24-hour pharmacy with all of the various zones in the pharmacy is still available there for you. Of course, remind you, they have got free parking outside and uh, of course, there's always somebody there to welcome you. And I think again, folks, like we saw during the, um, during the COVID times, uh, the importance of knowing that somebody is there for you. This is really important. I think a lot of people are experiencing that now, also during load shedding. So just the, the knowledge that that um, uh, somebody is there to look after you and someone is there to help you. And MCHEM is that pharmacy, open 24-7, even during load shedding. Get down and see them. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll carry on talking about what's happening in the world of club rugby. We're going to be taking a look at the highlights still between Paul and False Bay. And then, of course, uh, the highlights after this between Kales River and Hamilton's. Back in a sec. Right, folks, uh, welcome back. Cape Rugby TV, nice to have you along. Um, yeah, continue. Everybody continues to face difficult times out there, of course, during the load shedding. But Club Rugby carries on. Uh, we know it's school holidays at the moment. Of course, also at the Ronnebosch Boys High School at the moment. It is, in fact, the, um, the Craven Week, and uh, that's also an exciting opportunity for folks to just go and watch and enjoy a bit of rugby. So, yeah, a lot of rugby action at the moment. We're looking forward next week to have some of our guests from Western Province Rugby back in studio, um, and, of course, some of our regular guests. We, unfortunately... Missed out with the load shedding uh, this week with our uh, regular guest, Jerome Parvater. But nevertheless, we bring you the highlights and we keep talking club rugby. Right, so um, one of the matches that came into us last week was the match between Kales River and Hamilton's. Hamilton's were um, ha traveled to Kales River, in fact, folks, and uh, we bring you some of the highlights here. Let's take a look at the first half. Hamilton uh, at Kales River. 
The following feature is brought to you by Score Energy Drinks, MCM 24 Hour Pharmacy, and Thorburn Security Solutions. This feature was brought to you by MCAM 24 Hour Pharmacy, Score Energy Drinks, and Thorburn Security Solutions. So, first half there going uh, in favor of Hamilton's, uh, leading 19 points to uh, nil. But uh, so things not really going according to Kalsra plans there. But they're at Yachtershof, and they've got the Kayla boys behind them. And uh, well, we know that uh, when you're playing Kalsra at home, You've got the fans behind you. Things can always change. The following feature is brought to you by Score Energy Drinks, MCM 24 Hour Pharmacy, and Thorburn Security Solutions. <laughs>
This feature was brought to you by MCAM 24 Hour Pharmacy, Score Energy Drinks, and Thorburn Security Solutions. So some interesting highlights there. That was, of course, the second highlights and the uh, win then eventually going in favor of Hamilton. So, uh, yeah, uh, thanks for, for sending the, the game in to us, guys. I'm sure that uh, I'm sure the fans are enjoying seeing the club rugby. Right, folks, of course, as you know, uh, Score Energy Drinks is on board with Cape Rugby TV. Right, so if you want to win yourself a case of Score Energy Drinks, then all you need to do is go to our Facebook page where you can put yourself in the mix to win a um, case of Score Energy Drinks. And you need to go and uh, take a look at our Spot the Ball competition. Every week we take a photograph, we put it um, uh, on the Facebook page, and you have to guess the quadrant that the ball is in. Now this week we're taking uh, a look here again um, where you can certainly you can see... Uh, teams in in shot so you've got options a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 and c3 i'm going to let you just um hang there for a second or so i'm going to bring that back to you and uh, give you another opportunity to have a look for yourself just for the fun of it to see if you can actually spot the ball so let's just take another look there a1 a2 b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 or c3 Right, folks, so um, you might uh, have spotted the option there. Let's see now if you were correct. I certainly haven't had a chance to predict. I'm going to take a look there and say C1. Right, let's take a look. Uh, where is the ball? Yes. <laughs> Congra congratulations, Sean Slubber. C1 is correct. You walk away with a case of score energy drinks. We'll reach out to you on Facebook Messenger. You can uh, come to the studios and collect your prize. Congratulations. So every week, folks, on our Facebook page, Cape Rugby TV, www.facebook.com forward slash Cape Rugby TV. Every week you can go have a look and see if you can spot the ball. It's one of those old favorites. People still just love uh, having a look at a picture and trying to figure it out. And we get a lot of responses on our Facebook page for the uh, spot the ball competition. So, folks, uh, one of the other matches that we also got in was the match between False Bay and Paul. Uh, we'll take a look at that after the um, highlights and at least after this, um, after the break. And then we'll also bring you the logs, the results, and the fixtures for this coming weekend. Back in a sec. Don't go away. Right, welcome back, everybody. We're wrapping it up now. Of course, tonight's show has been some of the matches that were sent into us. Remember, win or lose, it is a fantastic way for you to get exposure for your club. You can always go and tell sponsors, local business in the area, that a game is going to be on TV. So send it in to us. You can put your branding around the side of the fields. Local business can support you. It really is an important way of making sure that your club gets exposure. And in the world of sports sponsorship and uh, making sure that our clubs are... Uh, looked after the opportunity to put your club uh, with a sponsor's jersey on TV is absolutely golden. I sometimes think we've gotten so used to TV that, that uh, we forget about the important things. And yes, Cape Rugby TV will keep bringing it to you. But the important thing that you should remember as a club, if you're watching right now as a club, is to get local business to sponsor your club. There you can see some of the clubs that have taken advantage, for example, um, the, the jerseys behind me there now. Some of these jerseys need to be updated, yes, granted, but look at the sponsor opportunities here uh, for, for the clubs. So please, folks, uh, encourage the clubs to send their jerseys in and get local sponsorship. It doesn't cost you a cent, but it's fantastic exposure for local business. One of the matches that we got in last week was the match uh, in the Super League A between False Band Paul, and uh, we bring you the first half highlights now. The following feature is brought to you by Score Energy Drinks, MCHEM 24-Hour Pharmacy and Thorburn Security Solutions.
This feature was brought to you by MCAM 24 Hour Pharmacy, Score Energy Drinks, and Thorburn Security Solutions. Right, so first off, going there in favor of False Bay. They traveled through the Paul. Thanks to Jonathan Avalt and his team for sending in the match. Folks, uh, yeah, certainly False Bay dominating in the first half. But it is rugby, and as they say in the old school, rugby is a, a, a game of two halves. Let's see if Paul can bounce back against False Bay. The following feature is brought to you by Score Energy Drinks, MCHEM 24-Hour Pharmacy and Thorburn Security Solutions. This feature was brought to you by MCHEM 24-Hour Pharmacy, Score Energy Drinks, and Thorburn Security Solutions. Well, it doesn't look like False Bay bounced, uh, at least it doesn't look like Paul managed to bounce back against uh, False Bay there. And False Bay, of course, uh, uh, one of the top teams in the club, at, le in, at least in Super League at the moment. And things going then in favor of False Bay against Paul. Paul's certainly going to be looking to do a little bit of of work to get themselves out of the bottom three. They're sitting on the second uh, lowest rank on the log at the moment. They're sitting on 14 on the log. So a lot of scrambling to do, folks, as we know, a lot of scrambling to do to make sure that you stay out of the bottom three. But let's take a look at the other results then from this past weekend. Durbel with a win over SK Warmers. And then, of course, the match that we showed you earlier on. Unimil beating False Bay 24 points to 21. Right, folks, let's look at the log then. Unimil sitting at the top of the pile, followed by Durbel, UCT, False Bay, Martys, Hamiltons. Those are currently your top six. And then it's Tigerberg in UWC, Brackenfell, Kales River, Villages, Hamlets, NTK, Paul and SK Warmers. Right, let's take a look at the matches coming up this week. Uh, it's Hamiltons up against Paul. NTK at least are going to be traveling to Brackenfell. And then Villages are going to be traveling to Hamlets. This is going to be an interesting game, folks. Uh, Villagers uh, star is on the rise. They're now up to number 11 on the log. They're playing against Hamlets, who's sitting at number 12 on the at least one position. Yeah, one position behind them. Uh, Hamlets is currently sitting at number 12 on the log. And you know, when you play at Hamlets, you well, it's a it's a team that is unpredictable. Hamlets like to play running rugby. So, Villagers, we know that you're strong at the moment. We know that you've got an all-star lineup, but you're playing against Hamlets, folks, and uh, it's going to be a tough challenge. So, uh, yes, uh, villagers traveling up the West Coast to Hamlets. And then this p weekend, folks, also we're going to see a big game between False Bay and uh, Tigerberg. Folks, in Super League B, we see a win for St. George's over Busy Bees, 38 points to 15. Belhar beating Young Peoples, 28-21. And then Belleville with a win over Vineyards. Lunga beating Scottsdean. Hands and Hearts with a win over Primrose, Helderberg with a win over Franschuk, and Collegians with their win over Goodwood.
Let's take a look now at the log in Super League B. Helderberg sitting at the top of the pile in position one, followed by Hands and Hearts in two. Belha, All Saints, St. George's, Belleville, and Young Peoples. Fixtures coming up then this weekend in Super League B. We see Hands and Hearts up against Goodwood. All Saints travel to Scottsdale. Primrose travel to Belha. Young Peoples travel to St. George's and Helderberg up against Busy Bees. Let's take a look now at the results in Super League C. Race B. Went down the Blue Stars, uh, Rangers with a win over Elsie, Spinel Villagers went down to Carlemore in a very close game, 15 points to 12. Albion's beating Strand United, Crowfontaine, 25-20 over Macassar. And then Blue Jets going down to Morningstar. Super League C logs, see Strand at the top of the pile, they are currently unbeaten. And also look out there folks for um, Rangers, also unbeaten. Those are currently only two unbeaten sides in Super League C. And of course, then we see Macassar, Kyle Moore, Rangers, CPUT, and Crowfontaine. They make up your top six. Super League fix C fixtures then coming up this weekend is Blue Jets up against Peniel Villages, Blue Stars and Morningstar, Wraithby and Crowfontaine, Kyle Moore, and Erste Rafir. City League results sees Young Ideas up against Police, 57 points to 38. Caledonian Roses went down to Silver Tree. Mostly Pumalele went down to Violet, 6 0 in a very close game. And then a close clash also there between Hamadias and Gardens. This puts Hamadiyas at number seven, uh, at, at least unbeaten on top of the log in the City League, followed by Massey, Gardens, Violets in positions four, and Silver Tree in position five. So uh, City League looking interesting. Fixtures coming up this weekend in the City League. We see Caledonia Roses up against Police. And um, if we look at some of the results in the Southern League, we see Rocklands 42-0 over Thistles. Titans beating Peninsula and Laguna beating Young Stars, 17 points to 11. Laguna currently sitting at the top of the pile on, uh, in the uh, Southern League, folks. Southern League fixtures this weekend sees only one fixture, Northerns against Titans. And in the Northern League, we see Cor a win for um, uh, Van der Stel, Evergreens over Cor Stellenbosch Coronations. Salorians beat Whistling Wheels, Manenberg Rangers, 34. Well, they went down to Blake's, 34 points to 17. And Windmill United, 33-15 over Excelsior. Northern League logs, for those of you that need to see the logs in the Northern League. Van der Stel remain unbeaten. They're sitting at the top of the pile on position one, followed by Blakes in second place, also chasing there. Let's take a look now. The fixtures coming up in the Northern League. It's Excelsior up against uh, Slurians, and then Manenburg Rangers take on Col Stellenbosch Coronations, and Young Wesleys are up against Windmill United. Folks, the Paul region is now into the second round, so to speak, of their log. Of course, um, uh, playing home and away in the Paul region. Let's take a look at the results then from this past weekend. Young Standards with the win over uh, Young Gardens. Simondium went down to Paul Rangers and then Lower Paul 19-18 over Riverstones. Fixtures coming up this weekend. Sees uh, Simondium up against Violet's Paul. Paul Rangers again at Lower Paul. This is a one and two clash. Look out for that match in the Paul region. It's going to be huge. Young Gardens up against Riverstone and then Young Standards against Peril United. Yeah, folks, if you're looking for a derby match to go and watch in the Paul region, look no further than Paul Rangers up against Lower Paul. It's uh, always a cracker of a match. And what's more is they are currently sitting at number one and two on the log. Right, folks, so um, it's interesting matches all around, and we're looking forward to lots of Cape Rugby TV action next week. Come and join us. Same time, same place. Have a fantastic rugby weekend. Bye-bye.